Hey folks, I'm Mike and I hate ads, but I love Inkvent and it is Inkvent time. Projects like this are funded by my patrons at patreon.com slash inkdependence. You can become a patron today or just subscribe to the channel. That's free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence, I'm Mike, and today we have day 15 of the Diamine Ink Vent. Let's get in there. Alright, today is Nightshade, which is this one, probably a purple? A standard purple? Maybe we get some green sheen, really uh, match that label? Let's see what we got. I don't know why I'm shaking it. Again, not, not a shimmer. All right, not a purple. We're not talking about nightshade. We're talking about a shade of night. This actually looks like a really nice sort of pale blue-black. Maybe it'll be purple. Let's see what we get in a few minutes when it has dried. Okay, turns out we might have actually gotten... Uh, but I've actually gotten a purple here. I thought it should be purple if it's called Nightshade. That's a traditionally purple color. And uh, I think it came out pretty purpley. Kind of grapey grimace. This up here had me fooled, which is pretty neat. I uh, I like that color. I think it's pretty good. I am making an effort to like more purples. I'm going to go ahead and go through purples. I might, I might swing through blue a little bit too, but I don't know. I think it might just really be a purple. Okay, it turns out I don't have many colors that are uh, particularly close to this nightshade, so that's kind of cool. It is a uh, kind of a, a dusky, dusty sort of purple. Let me stabilize my camera here. All right. Uh, so firstly, uh, we've got um, I pulled Papier Plume Violet, which looks like it's a slightly lighter version of this. A different. It ends up being a different color once I get it out of the the sleeve and. Close up to it, eh, not that close. Uh, this is Krishna Overcast Deep Lilac, which I think is actually in the same vein, although Nightshade is a fair amount darker, but uh, this one it looks pretty good, this Krishna Overcast. Then uh, this one, which is Kala's Taro Balls, which I think is pretty darn close. That's, uh, that's pretty close. Nightshade is a little bit darker, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty close. That might be your closest one. And if you want one that's darker than this, uh, Kyo Iro's Soft Snow of Ohara, which is an ink that I really wanted to like more than I do. It's just kind of, it's just kind of too dry for me. I don't, I don't love this line because I like wetter inks. But if you like a dry ink, Soft Snow of Ohara is kind of like this, but grapier and, like, darker and moodier. Real cool. So, yeah, Tarot Balls, I think, is probably the closest from Kala's dye-based ink series. Uh, so there you go. Thanks very much for watching Day 15. Join me tomorrow for Day uh, 16. <laughs> there we go. Six fingers. All right. See you later. Peace out. <laughs>